Change through catastrophe. What we are all used to as human beings is changing when you are pressured or forced to change, but not changing because it is time or because in your heart you know that it is right. It is time now for you to look around at the world. The world itself and all its major structures are falling apart, and there are only making change because imminent destruction is at hand. Look at the banking system. It is still not out of the trouble. Look at the oil and the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Only now are they are really pressing for a new change. And only now are they really looking at what the scientists have previously warned them could possibly happen. Even now they speak of the potential of a volcanic gas eruption from the oil well due to an existing gas pocket that has occurred. This could wipe out hundreds of thousands of lives and homes in the Gulf of Mexico, let alone where it will send the oil that is already in the oceans. We would say to you that you, the human beings on this planet, are a mirror for what is occurring in your societies and the way that you are handling your environment. You would look to yourself and see how you mirror this in your own body, in your own relationships. How are you ignoring your body, your relationships, and the world around you until it is too late or until there is so much pressure and pain in the change? rather than changing what exists in your environment or relationships, or even what exists in your bodies. Human beings tend to neglect everything until there is so much pressure, and then they draw on their great base of adaptability. But then, for many, it is too late, and destruction or even death is imminent. We would say to you, it is time for you to stop waiting for change to be forced upon you. That change does not come only through catastrophe. It can come if you put aside your human laziness of comfortability. This being where you are comfortable in the life that you are in, knowing that this cannot exist forever, knowing that there are responsibilities and things in your life that you must change, but wait until your husband or wife has had enough, until your children act out because they have had enough, until your body creates disease because you have ignored it and it too has had enough. It is time for humanity to wake up. Heed the call, my friends, before it is too late for those you love or maybe even yourself. It could come from what you think is the outside world, such as the oil spills that may totally interrupt the food chain, or it may come from the destruction of your lifestyle personally, or the catastrophe is within your body and disease arises, and you are forced then to deal with all of the things that you have ignored. Look to your relationships and see where you have ignored communication, listening to each other, sharing with each other where you have been what we will call negatively selfish, where it is all about you in an unhealthy way. Granted, life should be all about you in your growth and what is best for your soul and spirit, but it should never take away, interfere, or harm another. Like the oil company who has ignored the warnings about drilling in the oceans close to shore. It was all about money. Are you, too, doing the same, ignoring the warning signals of your body, of your relationships, of your children, of the earth in general? The earth is your home, and as you pollute her, ignore her, and mistreat her, you will have to face the repercussions in what it does to your food chains, to your water systems, to your air quality, and in turn to your bodies. This is a wake-up call for humanity. Will you remain asleep and continue to destroy yourself, your relationships, your children, 
however inadvertently it may be, you are still not consciously paying attention and accepting responsibility for the world in which you live, both externally and internally within you. It is time. What will you do? How catastrophic will the changes in your life or your world need to be before you will do anything? Will you do them in time? In light of all this, if you would please send love or light from your heart to the Gulf of Mexico and the problems that are occurring there. Remember that all those creatures and all of the sea life that is being affected and dying affects you in some way or another. May you find what your heart seeks and may you find the inner peace that will remind you of who you are. For more information please visit our website at www.masteringtheartofbeinghuman.com